Down to a minute and a half. Thompson. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Northwestern. Another ball with some heat over the middle. Deflected and Xander Mueller may have just finished the deal for the Wildcats. That linebacker room is full of Northwestern legacies. His brother Eric was a linebacker in that same purple and Xander Mueller across the pond. Looks like he ends it. You drop eight into coverage, make Nebraska earn it. The ball is a little hot, it's a little behind, it's a catch the lever can make, but of course, unfortunately for Nebraska, it becomes yet again another in a long line of disappointing one possession losses because the ball doesn't bounce your way and you don't make the play when it matters the most. Physically, they did it, they didn't beat themselves, and they earned a huge Big Ten victory in week number one. This is a program that typically thrives on disbelief from the outside and internal outsized belief. Northwestern did it again today in an upset in another country. 31-28, the Wildcats stun Nebraska. And he didn't know who the QB would be, at least publicly. They knew it privately. And Halinski was the best he's ever been in purple. Fourth down and seven. Tate Rodemaker with a chance to prove himself in the opener. Fires over the middle. It's picked off. Taken away by Ryan Webb for Duquesne. And he's got space. Ryan Webb's still on his feet. And he stumbles at the 30-yard line. It's a, an excellent play by Ryan Webb, undercutting the throw, the throw behind Malik McClain. Let's see if he catches a foot or something. Oh, no, Turf Monster. Monster got him. Trey Benson was probably going to walk him down, too, but <laughs> kick it got by the Turf Monster. You're in Doak Campbell Stadium. You got a chance to hunch the whole crowd. Come on, man. <laughs> Guessing defensively. Jacob Monroe with the grab. Nate Cox now four of five through the air, just 13 yards to go for. It. Far side is Lee. Boy, jumped in the air for no reason, expecting to hurdle the Mexico State defender. Picks up a first down in the process. I just like the block by Nate Cox. Anytime I get a quarterback that throws a block that frees up someone, I, I gotta I gotta point to that. Big fella goes out and he looks up. One of the defenders, just enough for Devontae Lee to get the edge. A little hop, skip, and a jump out of bounds right there. Not sure what all that was about. Gain of 15. Ross, transfer from Coastal Carolina, who has not played in three years. From 38, the snap gets away. Oh, boy. This is a whole mess. Old Dominion's going to pick it up. It's going to be a scoop and score. Touchdown, Monarchs. Robert Kennedy, the safety, all the way down the field. And Old Dominion has surged into the lead as Virginia Tate makes a mess of the field goal try. On a scoop and score on a bad snap. A high snap. If you're the... Try to get on it as best as you can there. If you're 85 for Virginia Tech, he misses it, and it's a house call for Old Dominion. Really doing a nice job of, of giving Chase Brown some help with Isaiah Williams. Nice Looking pick. long in the corner, it's Hightower, and it is incomplete. It came late. There was a huge fight for the ball. Hightower still claiming it's touchdown. Still claiming it's touchdown. Josh Sanguinetti, number 19, fighting for it with him. Let's look. Well, he goes up and high points it, and oh, again, I, I don't you know. know. That, may, that, that looks may, like touchdown. That may be a touchdown. If he controlled that ball on the way out, yep. uh, coming out now, but I don't know. That's worth taking a look at. This Let's is the see angle here. right yep. here. You'll see it here. 
That's a touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah, it's touchdown. I agree with you. Came out late as he was getting up. That's touchdown. He loses the football. Yeah. Well, that's not part of the catch process. You can see here, he's got to hold on to it when he hits. He does both arms underneath. There's even a better look, I think, from the side. And, uh, and now as he gets up, you're going to see the ball pop out. Well, that's not part of the catch yeah. process at that point. I just love his concentration to yeah. go high point. The review, the ruling on the field stands as called. It's an incomplete pass. Oh, my God. I never. Holy that, doctor. I never saw an incomplete. Whoa. I never saw anyone say incomplete. Oh, my. Well, wow. that's a huge miss. Remember that one, folks. Mm. And I want to see if somebody somewhere said incomplete. Maybe after the ball came free. Oh, my God. Going out of bounds, there was a late call of incomplete. And as Dean said, that was not part of the catch process. Mm. Line. And even if he gets a good punt, should be good field position for the Aztecs. And it is blocked. Touchdown. Was it Shavers, number 14? He scored last year. It looked to me like Azadorf just took one step. How could he get that blocked? It's not like he went three. Watch how quickly he tries to punt this. One punt, his own blocker. His own guy got his it. His own blocker was too deep. So he didn't realize the putter was shorter. He took his normal snap stance and he putted it right into the back of his own guy. Well, touchdown at some point, probably. Unless it hit his arm, but it hit number 56. And it's covered by the Aztecs. Big special teams play they needed. Armstead with a recovery for the touchdown. They are amoeba-like on defense. They can throw three down linemen or a four down lineman. Oh, the snap is through the punter's hands and out of the back of the end zone for a safety. Andrew Stokes couldn't corral it. Andrew Beardall fired it over his head. Two more for BYU. And a timeout here in Tampa, right after USF came up with the interception. Oh, a safety. Second down and six. This is going to be a struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. As he was just gobbled up that time. As Burns came in and made the tackle. He is their best communicator in that back end. Mason Smith down on the field, and he was the one that made that play. One of the best defensive tackles in America. Hopefully he's okay. To Mason Smith moments ago, how it happened. And you're going to see it. He totally blew up the play. He's celebrating at the end, jumps up. You see that left knee lands on it. Odd, oh, it kind of tweaks inside. And he was helped off the field and is now in the medical tent. Man, you hate to see that for that young man. Hopefully he's okay. Daniel's going to throw on first down, goes to the sidelines, has a man wide open, it's tipped, it picked off, and Jay Devonshire, Scott Bates, he's going to take it to the end zone, Pittsburgh takes the lead, you have got to be kidding me, MJ Devonshire, one of the best athletes on the team. He's an Alec Whippa product, which is right out here in Western Pennsylvania. PIAA track and field titles in the 100 and 200 meters, and you saw it right there. Once he got the football, once he saw daylight, he was shot out of a cannon, an absolute cannon. What a remarkable game he's had. He's wide open and just can't come up with it. Run after the catch. Once you catch it, turn into an offensive player and take it to the house, young man. Take it to the house. He's got tremendous speed. That's excellent technique. 
Be on the spot. Make sure you catch the football. Now go. That's what, again, that's what this game is all about. Back and forth. Emotional swings. You make a play, I make a play. Punch, punch, counter punch, punch, counter punch. 